Welcome, I'm Matthias and today I'm going to take you through the latest Bitwig Studio update 4.1.2. Bitwig finally added some really amazing orchestral strings courtesy of uh, orchestral tools. You probably know them from developing uh, sample libraries like uh, Metropolis Arc. Now make sure you watch the whole video because at around 12 minutes we are going to recreate my track Chambers of Edmantius with these new orchestral strings. In the video I'll also show you a few tricks on how to get the most out of these new string samples. So let's take the tour. Right, so first you need to download and install Bitwig 4.1.2 and then you go to the dashboard and to the packages setting. And make sure that you have the partner collection tab open and download this orchestral strings uh, sound package. It's about the one gigs download. Now after the packages are installed we need to go to the Bitwig browser tab to the right here and make sure that we have the presets tab open and go to the category and select the orchestral tab and here we can see all these new presets from orchestral tools and the chef uh, obviously always prepares so I prepared this uh, template with all these patches preloaded The first preset we will check out is the dynamics manual which comes with a few different uh, key switches so we have the sustains, then we have the sustains soft. So there's uh, plenty of room in the dynamics here and it's a really nice transition there from the really soft uh, to the more loud sustained sound. But in a little while I will show you a little trick here to make it even more dynamic. Now if you like my videos on Bitwig Studio and want to learn the full potential of Bitwig, I highly recommend that you enroll my Bitwig Studio Masterclass at store.morningdiomedia.com. You can also use the discount code Matthias and you will get a 20% discount on the Bitwig Studio Masterclass. See you in the course. Right and then we have the Spicatos. And of course some pizzicatos. And the final key switch is uh, the tremolo. So this first patch is really versatile with these uh, different key switches and of course you can also control the release of uh, the, both the sustains and this uh, shorter spiccatos. 
but uh, let's get rid of the rebarb here. And for the sustains. But uh, it becomes uh, really unnatural if you get rid of too much of that sustain. But we will add uh, the Valhalla Room reverb instead of the Bitwig Native reverb, because I, I think it's uh, it sounds a little bit better. Right, so that's the first patch here, and uh, I think it's, it sounds uh, very nice, but uh, I still miss a little bit of that dynamic range that you have with uh, some other string packages. Because uh, even if I have the dynamics at the lowest point here, we still hear a lot of the sound. And I like to have uh, the patches so I can go to uh, almost zero volume. And uh, to make it more dynamic, you can actually uh, just open up the effects section here and add a tool device. And then we will make sure that the volume, the initial volume of this patch is like minus 40. And then we will go ahead here and add a modulator, a CC modulator, which will modulate this, uh, the volume here. So now we have increased the dynamic range of this instrument, so we can go really, really soft to this really, really hard sound. And that to me makes it a much more playable patch. So I really recommend that you add this uh, MIDI CC module and attach it to a tool volume so we have more dynamic range in, in the patch. So that's a really, really nice uh, string sound in this package. So let's uh, go ahead and look at some more patches. The Like Mercato. And if we click the patch here in uh, the browser, we can actually see a little description here, which says uh, this one is a simulation of articulation called Mercato. Sustained is layered with Spicato. So maybe we can do a little bit of cold play. Right, so that's the like Mercato. Let's listen to the pads and plucks. Maybe this is supposed to be played only with one key. So this patch has this chord feature, so we can have a nice lush chord and then we activate this second or this first chord. And we get a minor. So that's a weird patch. Anyways, let's go ahead and load up the pizzicatos. And we can also activate the velocity sensitivity. 
So we get more dynamic range in this patch too. So that's the pizzicato, it's also controlled by the dynamics. Let's go ahead and listen to the rhythms patch. So this makes use of uh, the new note repeats. If you want to have some automatically composed background ostinatos. Then we have the sausage version, which is a kind of uber compressed version of the strings. And then the regular spiccato patch. And the same thing here, let's uh, add that tool device. And attach this uh, CC control to the volume and make the basic volume be quite low like that. Maybe a little bit too drastic, like so. So that gives us a little bit more control of the dynamic range. Then we have the step articulations, which is a quite weird patch because uh, it will walk through these uh, articulations uh, when you play the track. <laughs> kind of weird patch. Then we have the sustained uh, soft version. And this one is called Fix because I added this uh, tool device already. So let's uh, compose a little piece quickly here with, with the patches. Let's make it in 3-4, uh, drag down the tempo slightly. I'm going to remake uh, a track uh, from, my, from my album called Diabolical Lilith 2, The Chambers of Adamantius. You can check it out on, on all the streaming platforms if you want to listen to some dramatic music. Now we add a top line with the sustain. Now let's add some dramatic uh, tremolo on top of that.
Right, now let's listen back to this uh, little piece without that annoying click. Okay guys, I think that this string package really adds some great value to the already great uh, sound content of Bitwig Studio. Now what do you think about these new uh, string patches in Bitwig Studio? Please let me know in the comments. Now, if you want to learn more about scoring for strings and orchestra, I highly recommend you check out my next video and my playlist on film scoring for beginners. Right, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and as always, leave some nice feedback in the comments. Now have yourself a merry little Christmas. Bye.